<clears throat> okay, we're back here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this right over here and we're going to let all that ash settle down and separate. Alright. Now, you know in the norm, I guess, uh, if you're really after a big old batch of, uh, trying to make a big old batch of that live soap, I guess, uh, it paid to try to render down quite a bit more, but I'm after just really a small bar, like I said, sometimes you just got to stop, and you've got to replenish some of your stuff, and, uh, soap is one of them for me. Then we're going to try to do something else, too. Okay, I've got some coals down there, but I'm kind of curious. I'm going to take a look at this. It's been a little while. Well, I like this little system here. I like that a lot. Works good with my cooking system. Bird dog on hot. Tell you what, I'm gonna come back on there in just a second and show you guys what we have. All right. Well, I'm a little tickled. Well, you know what I got down in there? Let's take a look at that. Now that's pine tar. Uh, and I know there's a bunch of videos out there uh, of people that's making pine tar. But now we're going to try a couple different little things with this. Now, if I'm successful with what we're going to try to do here next is I'm going to try to take what's left of this pine tar and some of that fat wood. Now, normally this is made out of pine sap. But I don't really want to go out there and butcher up a bunch of trees to try to make a little bit of turpentine just to fill up my Zippo or something like that. Now, turpentine mixed back in with this pine tar makes an excellent stain. Uh, for staining your handles on your axes and such like that. It also makes a varnish. So uh, that's going to be the next attempt. Now I'm going to use just a little bit of this pine tar to mix back in with that lye and uh, just some fat that I've got. Now I've not went and rendered down an animal and got its fat. Uh, I'm not going to go kill me a little critter just for that. Um, so I've got some lard and stuff that I'm going to bring out and melt down but uh, just to make me a little small bar of uh, pine soap. And then we're gonna use the rest of this and see if we can make us a little bit of turpentine. So hang with me. All right. Now I've already <coughs> mixed off camera uh, some of the, the, the lard I had and uh, I took some of the lye water off the top and mix it in with some of the tar and I got it just sitting there in that little BB tin right there just heating up in those coals. Let's take a look and see what we've produced as far as coals. Okay, well I'm probably going to be substituting this little aluminum can I got here because the, the heat really softened it up pretty good. Matter of fact, I can't even get it open. So it's good to give things a test run, you know, out 
like this before you go into the field. So now I'm, I know I'm going to have to locate me a, uh, a um, I mean you can see here, see this aluminum can is uh, just falling apart. So that's never going to work out in the field. Kind of wanting to see what uh, got going on here on the inside. Look here. Well, that's a nice char. Can ain't no good. I'm going to have to get me another stainless steel one to substitute that one with. That's just never, ever going to work. But, what I can do is put me a little bit of this char in my tender can. So that's another resource we've... Uh, managed to come up with here so hopefully we're going to end up with some soap didn't take too awful long to make uh, generally I guess you'd make it while you were cooking so I'm going to salvage me some of this charcoal here put in my tinder can so that I'll have that so that's a couple of resources we come up with here with just some uh, ash and a little bit of pine tar now we're going to Take a look in that can right there and see how our soaps are doing. So if we were out in the woods, we've been hiking for a day or two, you know, surely it's time to get cleaned up. So let's take a look here. Sorry. Still melting here. I'm going to mash this up a little bit more. I'm going to set that right back to these coals and let it keep on heating up. Okay. Now, what I'm going to try to do is go ahead and go one step further let's see and that can's cooled off and you can still see we've got our pine tar down in there now i'm hoping that this pine tar now i know that you can make varnish out of pine pine tar and uh, i'm hoping that let's see i'm going to put me a couple more chunks of this that wood down. I'm gonna put what I'm gonna do is try to stick this big old pine knot down in there. I'm sure it will only help. Wow. Okay. I'm going to drop all that down in there. Now what I've done here is, generally this is done out of sack. Uh, but the way I figure it, this is pretty close, same as sap. Now like I said earlier, I'm not going to go out and destroy a tree just to get a bunch of pine sap. If I run across a wound out there, I'll get one and I'll try this again another day. Now with this can, now the, the, the stainless can is working fine. The aluminum can is out. But now what I've done with this salt shaker can, the mason jar lid fits perfect onto this can. So now I can turn this can that with a strainer, I can turn it into a sealed can. And I'll show you. Now what I've done is kind of created a miniature steel here. Uh, it's just a piece of copper flashing down in here that I've soldered this quarter inch tube on. And what I am hoping is that this will be a sealed enough container that we can put this back in the fire just like we did with the uh, making the pine tar. So now that's good and sealed. 
and that we can put this back in the fire, heat it up again, but instead of getting the pine oil out of it, the tar, we're going to try to distill it back down through here, and what will come out this end, hopefully it'll be some kerosene, uh, or not kerosene, but uh, turpentine, and uh, pretty positive turpentine is, is flammable, so might be a good way to fill up a Zippo. So I'm going to get this back on the fire, and I'll fill you back in on the soap here in just a few minutes. We're going to get this rolling and see if we can get this to produce any turpentine.